Chats have been had, plans have been made, work has not been done. Guys, I still have this pimple situation going on on my lip. I think the pimple is gone now and it's turning into a scar. It's my fault. It's literally my fault because it was healing. It was scabbed over and at work, I just picked the scab off. I literally bring everything that happens to me on myself. Also, I don't know if you can tell. I mean, I'm sure you can, but if you're new here and this is the first time you're seeing me, I promise my lip doesn't always look like this. But I got rid of my lash extensions. It wasn't intentional. It kind of was intentional. I've been thinking about it for a while, but you want to know what happened? I thought I had something in my eye. Like I went for a walk last Friday and something flew into my eye. I guess it was like dust or something. And for three days, it felt like something was in my eye every time I blinked. And I'd rinsed my eye out so many times and nothing had come out there was nothing stuck in my eye and it was driving me crazy most of my lashes had come off at that point like i was due for a refill and then i was like i can't get a refill if my eye is infected or whatever anyway ended up just taking the rest of my lash extensions off and now i'm kind of like i think this is the new me i'm in my lash extension free era honestly i'm gonna give it a go now that you're all caught up hello welcome to the vlog i have been working at cal's desk today i literally have been editing all day except for when i went to the gym i got so much done you know those days where you just really get in the zone and just get it done. That was me today. I'm very proud. Did I tell you my eyes better? My eyes better now. So I got this new mascara to try out. I tried it on one eye the other night, like my eye that wasn't sore. Also, I can't get the sticker off. Why do they do this? Like I know why they do it because they don't want us to steal it from the store. But it's stealing my joy staying on here. Like this is so ugly. But I got this new mascara. It's the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I see it all over TikTok. Every time I complain about my mascara smudging, people reply and tell me to get this one and to get the water waterproof one. So I'm going to put a little bit of it on because Cal and I and two of my work friends are going to the movies tonight. So I want to look nice. I want to look a little put together. I used to be so reliant on my lash extension. Because I had them I was like, oh I always look kind of put together. Now without them I feel like I look a little bit like a naked mole rat. We're going to see the most random movie tonight. I don't know about you guys but I am not a horror movie girl. I feel like I never get scared because I know they're trying to scare me. So the whole time I'm sitting there being like well they're trying to scare me. So therefore I don't get scared and I've never really been the kind of person to jump like even if someone grabs me I feel like I don't really jump like every now and then I do I don't know I'm sure you know what I mean but we're going to go see The Nun 2 tonight I was at work the other day and my friend Shiraz was like I want to go see The Nun 2 first of all I was like literally what the f is that <laughs> never heard of The Nun in my life said it was a horror movie and he was like I've literally never seen a horror movie at the cinema before and I was like wait neither have I and neither has Cal so I was like okay okay we should go and then my boss was like have you seen the first one? I'm like, no. <laughs> so Cal and I watched that the other night. It was okay. Emphasis on the okay. I mean, that's the only word of the sentence. It honestly wasn't that great, but I'm really keen for tonight because I feel like a horror movie at the cinema is going to be an experience. You know what I mean? Like maybe I will get scared. It's going to be dark. Everything's going to be loud. I think this mascara slaps, but I also can't tell if I just look like I have spider legs on my eyes. I'm not sure because I haven't worn mascara on my top lashes in literally like a year and a half. That's how long I was getting lash extensions. For. I don't know. How cute is this robe that I'm wearing? I feel like an it girl or like that girl wearing a robe in the morning. Like tell me why this makes me feel like I have my life together. But this is actually from the Udi who is sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Guys, did you know that they make more than those jumpers that I'm sure you've seen? They make loungewear, sleep tees, pajamas. They have so many different products. I also have this Udi and this loungewear set. This is so cute. This is like the love of my life. But this robe, man, this is insane. This is so comfy and warm, but it's also lightweight. It's not heavy. You know how some robes you put on and it's like gravity is taking you down. This isn't like that. This is lightweight, which is perfect because Melbourne is in spring right now. And one day it'll be 30 degrees and then the next day it'll be 10 degrees. So I feel like this is actually perfect. So if you want a twin, Harry and I literally have the same robe. It's so cute. I will have this link down below for you. And I also have a discount code. So I'll put that on the screen and I'll put that below as well. So if you want a twin or if you just want to get anything else from the site, you can use that link in the description, use that discount code. You know the vibes. But guys, oh my God. 
gosh, I need to tell you about this movie that we saw last night. I also need to start making my breakfast because it's 8 o'clock and I'm trying to be a productive morning girly. I also have an appointment at 10 a.m. So we went and saw The Nun 2. I was low-key scared when we got to the cinema. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'd gotten in my head that it was going to be scary and we're all just like talking shit, being like, ooh. Anyway, it was not scary at all. If anything, I don't think I have laughed that much in so long. I actually think seeing a horror movie at the cinema is less scary. And Cal was telling me this last night and I'm like, yeah, you're so right. Because everyone around you makes it feel less scary. I mean, maybe if you went to the cinema by yourself and you were the only person in the cinema or if there was only like two people, but there was at least like 30 people in the cinema. And it wasn't really that scary, to be honest. But the guy in front of us, man, he was getting so scared. He kept jumping and being like, huh. Oh. And Cal and I would love everything every single time. It was definitely an experience. I don't know if I'd do it again. I mean, maybe just for fun, but not to actually get scared. I feel like if you want to get scared, you watch it at home. Because then, like Carl said last night, you're basically inviting the horror into your house, and then you have to sleep in your house after you've watched this film. Whereas at the movies, you can just go home. You're like, bye, the demon is locked in that room. Anyway, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I have my nail appointment at 10. I'm very excited because I have had these same nails for maybe five or six weeks, which is so impressive. Two of them are definitely on their last legs. Like every time I touch it, I'm like, oof, it's gonna come off. So I'm really excited to get these done. And then I need to finish my vlog for Sunday because I need to send it for approval. And then I just have a bunch of other like little admin tasks to do. So that's the vibes for today. Let's make this breakfast because I am so hungry. Okay guys, I am back home. I've made some lunch also. There is so much noise happening around and inside this building today, okay? So first of all, across the street from us, there's always this event that happens every single Thursday and they're blasting music, which is fine. But on top of that, our next door neighbors, well like our next door neighbors moved out. So I guess like the landlord is doing this. I don't know. There is so much construction going on and it's not just like a couple of hammering nails or whatever every now and then, no. It is like full on Drilling, full on drilling. It has been so loud. I got Cal to record it before. Emergency. And we weren't notified of it, so it was very out of the blue. Like, luckily, it didn't happen while Cal was on one of his client calls. Anyway, I am back home. Every time I go to speak, I'm scared that they're gonna start drilling, but these. But these are the nails. If you've been here for a while, you know that I. See what I'm talking about? At least the drilling has stopped. Anyway, I always circle between these. <laughs> anyway, I always either get these French tip or the chromey situation. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my lunch, make a decaf, and then finish editing my video for Sunday because I have to send it for approval to the brand. That's the plan, wish me luck. with me do you think this jacket is giving too much ikea i really like it but i also feel like i look like one of those blue bags from ikea you know what i'm talking about right like this this is kind of what i feel like i look like also i got this dress yesterday from kmart it's also so noisy like listen to this pov you're walking down the street next to me Hello, take yourself out, trash girl. Anyway, I got this dress from Kmart yesterday. I can't show you the whole thing, but you get the vibes. This was $6 from the sleepwear section. People are literally sleeping on this. This is such a cute dress. You don't need to be wearing this to bed. Anyway, I'm very happy with my purchase, but it is five past 10. I'm going to meet Harriet at Starbucks. I'm gonna get a drink, and then we're gonna come back here to edit for the day. Well, I mean, I hope we are. We're gonna come back and edit until any construction sounds occur. I don't know if they're still construction next door. It was so mad yesterday, man. It literally went on for like an hour and a half of drilling after I spoke to you guys. And I was trying to edit my vlog. My noise cancelling headphones were dead. And I was just sitting there like, kill me. Literally just kill me. Anyway, let's go because I'm meeting Harriet in eight minutes and it definitely takes me like 10 minutes to walk there. So we gotta go. You know, 
people do this and they try and touch like the Eiffel Tower. That's what I feel like I am with Harriet right now. <laughs> like, I'm like, I always look like an egg you on your YouTube channel. Guys, we have done nothing today. <laughs> We've lost the plot. We have done the plot. nothing. Nowhere to be found. Plot? Don't Where know is she? Don't know her. Literally don't know her. <laughs> We've wasted so much time. Nothing has been done. Nothing at all. Chats have been had. Plans have been made. Work has not been done. <laughs> We're gonna do an hour work session, 12.30 to 1.30, grind it out. The nine to five people watching this being like, um, okay. Yeah, okay, <laughs> YouTubers, what do you do with your time? We work hard, I promise we work hard. Um, we're gonna do an hour work session, then have some lunch, and then grind it out for the afternoon because we have wasted a lot of time, but it's okay. It's okay because nothing matters. Nothing matters and we're all gonna die. Yeah, my deadline's sitting there being like, we matter. <laughs> It is 4 p.m. Harriet has just left. I did actually end up getting some stuff done. I didn't just do nothing. I actually edited a video for a freelance job. Well, it was like a test video. I guess kind of like a job interview in a sense or job trial. So I edited that and sent it back to the girl. Fingers crossed. She loves it. I'll keep you updated. And then Cal and I actually planned out some tattoos that I want to get. I had the ideas in my head and I've wanted these for ages, but I got Kel to draw them up on his Mac and I sent them to the place where I want to get my tattoos done. So maybe I'll be getting tattoos really soon, but now I'm going to go to the gym. I actually made plans with Harriet tonight. Well, like she invited me to her plan. We're just going to one of her friends place to watch the footy. Kel is going to the actual game tonight. I wish I was going, but the tickets were like $178. Like Kel gets them included with his MCC, but if I wanted to go, it was going to be like $178. I was like, I'm sorry, that is a whole ass concert. My budget does not allow for that. So I'm going to go with Harriet to her friend's place. I'm very excited. And I need to leave here in like an hour and 45 minutes. So I'm going to go to the gym because I had a matcha and I have so much energy. Do like a little cross trader situation. Come back, shower, and go. That is the plan. Also, the lighting in here is making me look literally fluorescent. <laughs> Love that for me. Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning. Also our dishwasher is on, so I don't know if you can hear it. Hopefully my voice and the copyright free music pulls through, but it's Saturday morning, it is 20 past 11. We're having a very late start to the day because Cal and I both didn't get home until like 11 last night, and then we just talked until like 1 a.m. <laughs> so we slept until 9.30, but we just got ready. We're gonna head into Fitzroy. We're gonna grab a matcha, and then we're meeting Harry and Ethan to go walk around the markets again. I saw this ring last weekend, and I loved it so much. It was like $30, and I I was like to Kel, I just, I don't know, I don't know if I can drop $30 on this ring right now. He was like, take a photo of it. We'll come back next weekend. If you still like it, you can get it. I still like it. I still like it. I really want it. So I'm really hoping it's there. Fingers crossed. If it's not there though, it just wasn't meant to be. It doesn't matter. And I'll save myself $30, but that's the plan. And then tonight, this is so f***ing random. Harriet and I and this group of girls are going to see Reese Maston in concert. Like what the f***? <laughs> what the f***? I'm actually so excited. It's gonna be such a vibe. I think we're gonna have pre's at Harriet's and then go to the concert. That's the plan for today, but let's get going. I'm so excited for our matcha. And honestly, just to walk around the markets again, it is such a good day. The last couple of Saturdays have been such good weather and I'm so here for it. So cute. right now. I'm nervous. Really? I actually feel nervous. <laughs> Guys, I'm at Harriet's place. I told you earlier, but we're going to the Reese Mustin concert tonight. I'm I so feel excited. like when I say it, I laugh because I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'm it's awesome. iconic. It's iconic. So iconic. Also, Harriet's shirt is very iconic. Dad day. Dad day. Reese is daddy. <laughs> I told you guys, but I gave up alcohol back in March and it's been six months. Six months and like a week or something. That's crazy. And I think I'm finally ready. Well, I know I'm ready. <laughs> she said with a drink in her <laughs> head. I think I'm ready. No, I know that I'm ready. I've done the work to drink again. So this is going to be my first drink in six months. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, f it didn't <laughs> clink. Wait, wait. Cheers. 
Do you feel like a crazy, silly, goofy gal right now? I feel the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get ready because it is quarter to five. We have an hour. 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 Feels good. We're gonna be so fine. Literally said September. <laughs> yeah, you not heard of it. <gasps> Guys, cancel rough. birth. She's doing Can September. I, my editing birth. I just want you to know that we love you so much. We love you. <laughs> editing birth, you will get a Taylor Swift ticket to stress about it. Guys, we're all going to Taylor Swift together. Taylor Swift! Look, can you describe Reese Masson in three words? <laughs> Actually, describe this show. Reese yeah, Masson's yeah. show in mm -hmm. three words. Underwhelmed, <laughs> Eddie. Overwhelming. Yes! yes. <laughs> it was nothing and everything at the same time. No, you're, you're so right. right. You're you giving in this so light, right. Beth. Right. Beth, I'm not going to lie, you're Slate. Sorry, I did not expect Reese to pop off like yeah. he did. Oh, he says, he says, like, okay. I've got a yes or no question. Yeah. Should I text my ex-girlfriend? No. Babe, you know that's a bad idea. Yay.